Hello everyone, welcome to Sergeant Major's Home. My channel is about barbecue, food, cooking, and of course, eating. I'm not a professional, just a regular guy with a passion for food and cooking. For those that are new to my channel, if you enjoy the content, please like and subscribe, and make sure to hit that notification bell to get notified every time I drop a new video. As for those returning, thank you, and it's good to see you back again. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below, as I will read and respond to them all. And now, for today's episode. Welcome back everyone, it's Sergeant Major Smoke. Today we're doing a version of Philly Cheesesteak Buffalo Chicken. Very simple, we'll cover the ingredients. It's got some boneless, skinless chicken breasts. This just happens to be a two-pack. It was like $9.29, doesn't matter. Depending how many people you're serving. Provolone. Spices will be cayenne. Again, that little bit of kick. Garlic powder. Salt pepper. My favorite. EVOO, extra virgin olive oil. I'm not a big fan of green pepper, so I'm going to add a little bit of jalapeno, grill them up. I love onions, so I'm going to fry up in onions. And of course, buffalo chicken flavor using Frank's buffalo sauce. Why reinvent the wheel when it's good to go? And some soft buns of your choice if you like it. Very, very easy cook. And first, take my chicken, I want it to be bite sized pieces. Again, you decide what that is. Whatever works for you. You can do strips, whatever works. Just little pieces. It'll cook up quicker. Easier to eat in the sandwich form. Nothing too major. But again, however you want it. If you want to cook the breast whole and do it that way, that would work as well. I just want little pieces. Also depends on how big your buns are, because that'll make a difference. In my case, it's not very, uh, they're not very big, but they're soft, and that's what I wanted to go for. I'm going to steam it slightly on the griddle, but I wanted, uh, I wanted soft buns. Okay, so I cut my onions up. All I'm going to do is just give a little coat of olive oil. I'll put more when I get on the griddle. Let that sit for a bit. Chicken, super simple. Again, a little bit of chicken, a little bit of olive oil. Salt and pepper to taste. So as much or as little as you like. Also add a little bit of cayenne pepper. Again, same deal. Just Give it that little bit extra kick. Garlic powder. As much as low as you like. Now remember, I'm going to basically coat this in the buffalo sauce. So I'm just going to mix this up. Get all the flavor. Let it sit for a bit in the fridge, whatever. You don't have to, but I'm going to just the way the timings work out. It's going to be coated in buffalo sauce. I just wanted to give it that little bit more when I start to cook. I'll see you outside next. Okay, welcome back. So I got the griddle fired up now. Extra virgin olive oil. I gotta fry up my onions and my jalapenos separately because it's a taste thing, right? Some people like it, some people don't. Once I get these softened, cooked-ish, I'll start cooking some meat. 
Okay, I still got the chicken on the griddle. Won't take long at all. The onions and the jalapenos are done, so I took them off. Yeah, we know we need chicken to go to 165. I'll put that up top here somewhere. The conversion. But being smaller pieces, it's easier to cook. It's not a lot of, not a lot of, not a big deal. Customize it however you want to customize it. As long as you cook your meat, so it's not raw, you're good to go. Or burn the snot out of it. You don't want to burn your meat as well. This bad boy run. When I'm getting close, obviously there's still a pink or red. We know it's not cooked. And like I love to do when I'm cooking on my griddle, a bit of steam, drip of water. Chicken breast. But I'll probably do multiple sandwiches. So I'll just divvy up some portions. in a minute, but we can't forget our number one ingredient being buffalo chicken. Get that in here. It's good. Oh my geez. The, the liquid also helps with the cooking process. I'm getting the jalapenos. Control the loan. Take my bun. To the water, clean that bad boy up a bit. It's cooked, so I just want to make sure it's melt the cheese a little bit. Really, really good dish. Okay, welcome back. Let's do a taste test here. Just to share the full meal. Sweet potato fries. Bang on as per normal. Regular fries. Outstanding. Also made a blooming onion. If you guys want, I can make one on video as well. I got a dip, but I'm not a dip guy. That's fantastic. Let's try this bad boy. Buffalo chicken cheese steak here. Jalapenos and onions. It's going to be messy, but my God, it smells good. Oh, wow. Oh, so good. So yummy. Hot. So it's only hot sauce. Maybe don't add so much buffalo sauce, but. 
fantastic. Till next time, Sergeant Mary Smoke, out. Okay, everyone, this concludes today's video. Buffalo chicken, cheesesteak sandwich. It was really good. Super simple, so no long video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. If you like the content, please subscribe and hit that notification bell for the next time I drop a video. Until next time, Sergeant Mary Smoke, out.